Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back for another EVE Online video. And in today's video, we are going to explore exploration a little bit because if you follow the Sunday recap, you know that I've actually been having uh, some pretty bad luck when it comes to exploration. I found basically nothing in like the last 10 days or so. Uh, that is very surprising and very unusual. So what I thought I'd do for this one is just get on my regular exploration uh, round, uh, take you guys on this trip. Perhaps you'll uh, help end my bad streak or perhaps we'll uh, we'll figure out what the hell is going on and uh, I personally do think that uh, there is increased activity in EVE Online that means more players basically throughout the entire game and well if there's one aspect of the game that uh, this is not so good for it is exploration of course because the number of available sites don't necessarily uh, go up while if the number of players exploring for them goes up, that uh, just means that uh, there's less for uh, for the individual player to go around. And so you might get uh, more bad luck streaks like what I'm on at the moment. So let's see what uh, we have here. First of all, 33 in local in detail. That's actually a pretty sizable amount. And uh, three signatures, that's more than what I've been having in the last couple of days. There was usually like maybe one wormhole or something like that uh, in the system of detail. So um, definitely uh, a lot of competition from, from my personal feeling. So let's see if we can, uh, you know, get this confirmed or not. Haunted Yard, then we have uh, a wormhole. So Haunted Yard, I think my Tech 2 Cruiser cannot enter that site because there is potentially a good drop there. Uh, but uh, I do usually skip those when I'm in the Ishtar. Would be good for uh, maybe the Gila. I think the Gila can enter this one or a Tactical Destroyer, of course, like the Jackdaw is, uh, is perfect for that. Well, let's see what's behind this signature. And yeah, another wormhole. That's a little bit what we can expect. Let's move on to the system of Chunka. My favorite system for running the conduits usually. There's not too many people around there and uh, the conduits most of the time are available to me. I run them in the rattlesnake. You saw in a previous video how I'm doing that at the moment. Lots of good tips from you guys, including the fact that uh, with rapid uh, launchers, you should not uh, do a reload when uh, you haven't used up the entire ammo cache because that just basically reduces the efficiency by way too much. Stuff that I need to learn, uh, but I don't run the conduits that often. Most of the time I'm looking for something to explore and look at this, a criminal or uh, a suspect, five people in this system and zero signatures. That definitely shows that um, once again, um, there's some pretty active exploration going on around here. This is more than what we normally see. Maybe I'll keep an eye on the D scan as well uh, to see if, uh, if we can spot uh, ghosting, renewing, tangling, starving. Someone is actually running the conduits as well at the moment from yeah, Zorius Kikimora's wreck right here. So someone is, <laughs> and here's Zorius Vitmak. Someone is running, running the conduits at the moment as well. So again, another sign that yes, there is a lot more competition uh, at the moment. Now here we do have a refuge. So I'm gonna try and combine these two. While I explore, we're gonna land in that refuge and then we're gonna try uh, to See if maybe we get a high sec escalation, low sec, null sec. That's what I usually get when I do run the refuges, and that is of course not optimal. So let's uh, let's see what these signatures are in the meantime. Pretty central, so that should be good. And of course, something that people keep telling me: double click on the signature so that it's actually uh, centered nicely for your probe location. Here we land. I'm just gonna put these out. Activate all of this just to be sure and then we can continue. So normally what I should do is, is start with a double click because then you zoom right in on that and you can place the center of your probes right on top of the center of the signature. So let's see what we have here. Definitely harder to uh, explore. Only one other person here. Uh, Claire Triple X. Okay. And that one is not too easy to find. So if we see combat, we could be in for a good time. Probably a little bit too low on here, but it should be fine. And in the meantime, of course, my ogres are taking care of this refuge in the background. Uh, we're just gonna... It's a data site, so that's gonna be a data cache. I don't even think that I can fully scan this one down um, with the current setup. So we're gonna move on to the 
SJY uh, signature. Another data side, I would run it. Ooh, and that's also very difficult. That's that feels like it's even harder to find. That's not so. That's weird. Maybe the reason why there's no one here, because you've got some uh, some super hard signatures to try and discover, and this one moves about quite a lot. So let's let's use the double click trick. Move that one up a bit. That's okay. In the meantime, in the background, some enemy destroyers taken down. And this is a relic site. Yeah, another one that's pretty difficult to scan down. Um, so we're gonna leave it at that. This means that we can see if we get either an escalation or a true Sansha in this refuge. Actually, a surprising amount of, uh, of loot from this one. Maybe I should have used the tractor unit. But I don't think it's going to be worth it to keep scanning uh, to salvage here either. So we're not going to waste too much time. Oh, let's also use my laser beams on that one. That's the butcher. And yep, another. No true sand shadow. Another wave. Look at that, they're almost through my shields as well. This is actually a pretty big refuge. So let's uh, get rid of these guys actively. I love how the ogres can just really fire at, at actually a pretty great distance. And they can just wreck these guys like it's nothing. And then just one small enslaver. Damn, if that had been a true Sansha, maybe my luck would have turned around. But doesn't look like it. So that is the refuge done as well and uh, these don't really look like good sites to me so we're moving on to the system of dira all aboard next system um still only one other person here but yeah nothing too great to report unfortunately and that's the exploration game of course uh anything else pretty much in the game uh more people either doesn't matter or is great for it mining usually doesn't matter you'll always find something to mine uh, close to where you live uh, missions of course doesn't matter at all the agents are a one-on-one -on -one operation with yourself and for pvp well, i think the more people the better uh, your chances are to to find some pvp actions so they actually can't wait for more people to play the game but when it comes to uh, exploration uh, it's a different ball game all of that competition means that uh, sites do tend to dry up pretty quickly. Here again, only one signature, 11 in local, and that without an active ice belt. This is usually the number that I see uh, in the system of Dera when there is an ice belt. And so you can get maybe like half a dozen uh, people extra that are actually actively mining the ice. But now, yeah, we've got these numbers without an ice belt on. Uh, so I'm suspicious expecting that uh, they'll be oh well, i don't think i can see it but they're even going after the uh after the sleepers uh, so that's kind of kind of interesting anything that's available seems to be run at this point and we do get a combat site that doesn't seem too easy to scan down let's see what this one is I'll activate this. Maybe it's good luck. You do have to then find your routines that'll bring you luck. Uh, but my, my expectation here is actually uh, the uh, rogue drone asteroids. If I look at the 71% at this point, it's a bit much for, for like um, a 4 out of 10, I think. So let's see what it is. No, it's not even that. It's a desolate site. That's really a tiny site that is uh, not worth my time. So we're moving on to Neil. And here, okay, that's a decent system as well. Usually not too many people uh, in there. So I think that there's normally a high chance of getting at least some signatures, maybe a refuge, stuff like that. But as I've said, activity is high. So I don't know what will happen here. Uh, maybe another eye on the D-scan just in case. I would love to see if there's like lots of other exploration ships out there. Helas, Stratios. Uh, other Ishtars, things like that. Tech 3 destroyers as well. 
uh, are often used and look at this this is crazy not a single signature in this system only three people here but of course if you're moving on for more exploration you're just gonna leave this one behind there is one refuge for me to do later and again hope for an escalation but uh, this is really very very uh, low in the amount of signatures lower devil uh, not a great system in my experience there is this station there that does research in fact I make blueprint copies there for my structure BPOs and uh, that one usually has a pretty high population and does uh, a lot of um, people taking a look at least at the local signatures and so we'll see what we get there upper devil after that is actually one of the best systems on my round um, Usually no one in local, uh, quite a few signatures and anomalies tend to uh, gather there. But uh, right now let's move towards that. We do have one signature to check and two refuges to do as well. I think uh, chance is really high that we'll, we'll jump on, on like a wormhole very quickly. So we're just going to do a quick check while we align. I don't think that we'll even have the time to do a refuge all that well for just a signal, sig, sig, single signature. So there we go, you can see we do move up pretty quickly, 18.5% and we're pretty far from the signature itself. So my full expectation here is to see wormhole pop up, 7 in local, that's actually a decent amount, a combat site, that's a bit of a surprise but it'll probably be another bad one. And this gives us a, yep, Sansha Lookout. That's definitely not what we want to waste our time on. So Upper Devil, one of the better systems uh, like Chunka and like Tashinas. Let's hope for a different picture. Seven in local here is actually kind of normal. Doesn't feel like it's too crazy. Do we spot anything? Uh, we do see some wrecks. Strain Infester, Sasha's Ravener, Decimator Alvi. So they're running um, some rogue drone sites apparently. Maybe missions, that's possible as well against the rogue drones. And then here, all right, bit of a mixed bag. We do have Refuge 1 and 1 Cosmic Signature. I'm alone, that's potentially a good sign, this signature could be a tr no it's ah, i think it's gonna be too small to even be a three out of ten very disappointing again and here one signature one refuge could start to run it but i think we'll discover uh whether this is a hit or a miss before we can expect that time to end and so then double click to center this and i get a better time going like that okay let's see what this is and all of a sudden someone comes in and that is very suspicious. Let's see if we can spot a ship uh, in the meantime. So we have that cosmic signature right here. Scan. I am curious to see if uh, Kitana Shariza is also exploring. Uh, oh yeah, and it's not there that I need to scan then, but it's here for the signature. That's just a wormhole, so we can close this, we can head over here. Yep, got my probes. And we get one small wreck here. Oh, and she's already gone. Ah, couldn't see what it was, uh, but basically with some decent uh, scanning skills, we come here, drop your probe, see it's a wormhole, move on to your next system. Fully expect that to be another person that is exploring against me. Not good news, of course. Uh, the next system here, Lydia, uh, tends to be like a 50-50 again. Not too many people in there normally, up to five. Let's take a look at, there's two signatures, two refuges. That's a bit of a surprise. So here I am going to move straight into that refuge while we drop our probes. And these two look decently large, so potentially that could be of interest. Let's see what we discover here. So this is a 
better amount of signatures and anomalies that at least you can say maybe we get a chance uh, is that other potential explorer there I don't see it okay down here what are you we're at a warp we can drop our ogres uh, zoom out a bit for the sound and that's just a wormhole that's too bad and then this one also actually already at 21 percent without trying to scan it that is uh, not exactly what we want to see so it's just another wormhole all right then we'll just quickly do this refuge let's see if we can um, get lucky here the distance okay to try and take those guys down with the lasers I think they actually fully miss let's put one ogre on this one How are we still missing? There we go. <laughs> Love the ogres coming in there. Those should be hits, but didn't do much. Alright, next wave. Hoping for that escalation. That one is down. That's a hit. Zap. Couple more. Definitely a lot less than in the previous uh, refuge. Goodbye. Destroyer should be hittable. <laughs> Good job, guys. That's the ogres. Do like that. They're, they're like a little bit slow uh, in the movement, of course, but right now. That means that uh, they just stick around their spawn point for a bit. And uh, in between actions they'd normally slowly start moving to me and then spool up their uh, micro-op drives. But it takes a little bit of time for these ogres. You can see here. Now they're active. So they just stick around around that uh, spawn point. They've got pretty good optimals. And as a result they just keep whacking any new uh, Sasha spawns. I do like to run them this way. So here again... I'm basically reduced to this, running refuges, hoping for an escalation, uh, a, a true Sasha spawn or something like that, and it's just not happening. We're down to four in local, again, quite a bit of movement, so I do think that there is going to be that competition for exploration. And uh, we've got uh, two more systems where potentially we can get something. Uh, but this is the state of exploration. Even though we're not seeing that much more in local. I think that we do have just more people running around. Um, and here in Udella, 6 is actually higher than, than what we normally see. I think normally it's like 2-3 people. Um, and so more competition means less sites for us to do uh, so let's see if we can take these two uh, size wise that always tells you a little bit um, this is a travel through system though so i don't think it's going to be anything too good both of them pretty close together here no refuges no dens nothing that great to see Local is up to 7 in fact. Let's see what's down here. Keep an eye on uh, anything visible here. An Atron. Okay, that's not really competition for the 3 and 4 out of 10s. And then someone is running the conduits again. We do have a data site. Yep, my, um, my one uh, source of income that does still... Uh, make me at least a little bit of risk when it comes to the exploration runs at the moment. It is that we have stuff like this. So let's see if I can grab that one. Local Sasha Shattered. What is it? Uh, database? Life support system? Okay. Can I... Hmm. We got it at least. So let's do that. Close. This is actually fine, I think. So let's move up. But uh, oh, and it's it's already done. Yep, <laughs> talk about competition. By the time I scan it, 
and I want to warp towards that data site um, it's actually taken by someone else another very clear sign that uh, competition is pretty high oh oh no no damn my mistake I thought it would be red uh, so I was uh, basically thinking that it despawns but it's of course my discovered one so that's good let's see we've got three of these to uh, run Let's hope that potentially we get something in there. This is also the reason why I changed this uh, this fit and put in a micro warp drive. Because of course you do want at least somewhat of a boost to speed when it comes to uh, going to these nodes or these info shards. Within five I can get started on this. And let's see what we can find. I'll quickly use that one. Another one, one, one. Where is that's not very good. There it is. Okay. That's the first one done. And loot wise, 1 million just for that. Not so bad. Uh, clear line of sight. That's all fine. Here I think 30 kilometers we can do two um, rounds of the micro op drive. So let's get going. One and then the second one will boost up to 1400 meters a second then we get within 10 we do drop off pretty quickly but we'll be fine and then normally we're also slow enough that we won't bounce off of the shards too far for the loot so here it is got it and an empty one it happens and then the final one down here 14 kilometers so that's the one boost and let's see if we get something here we're in five try to cross as quickly as possible on these easy ones that tends to be the pattern so here it is grab that loot all right a filament and another decryptor so that means we get to move on to SSAMA the final system which is again too busy and look at that local goes up to 10 here that is definitely a lot uh, two praxis so people are running the conduits another one down here so someone is uh, running a small praxis fleet for the conduits we've got a patrol we've got a venture but that's not uh, it's a dual refinery venture. So that's an NPC. Quick rescan. Nothing here. Okay. And then four. So lots of traveling happening here too. And then in Nessasama we got seven. We got three signatures. But I wouldn't be surprised if that is gonna be bad again as well. Let's see. We definitely have a tiny one up here. That's not gonna be interesting. The other two are again not large enough i don't see any good combat sites uh circumference should be like probably 50 percent bigger than that if you want one of the harder to scan combat sites so let's first confirm the tiny combat site here now use the double click trick like that and then uh we'll double click on you So that's a haunted yard again. And what is this? Sasha still don't like me. In the meantime, I do sell stuff from time to time, of course, with all the industry that I'm doing. And let's analyze this side. That's the first wormhole. Second one, probably same thing. Here we get a Corax. I think you can explore in that as well if you want to. And that's a relic site. So that's again nothing. Let's take a quick look in detail. Perhaps something spawned. But yeah with 30 plus people there in local when we left it. I think that um, we'll have to be very lucky 
to actually get a good extra signature there. But this has been my experience in like the last 10 days or so for exploration, finding absolutely nothing. Uh, what I normally do after this is I go through all the systems again, hoping against hope that uh, there are new signatures there. It rarely ever happens, let alone that is something good. Then I start to run all these refuges because of course those can escalate and actually can drop uh, warp disruptors as well for from a true sasha spawn. So they can be very valuable. Um, but... Uh, if after that second round we still have absolutely nothing good and you can see nothing moved here in detail or if it did it's already cleaned up uh, then of course I feel kind of forced oh, and we actually want to go to the Astro uh, to move to move on to other activities and uh, at the moment for me that is the conduit running so um, still 27 people right here in detail that is quite a lot I was expecting to see more competition on the gates right more Gila stuff like that uh, to come in that's not really been the case but I I do get the feeling that this is the situation unfortunately at the moment it's busier in game there's more competition in exploration so it's uh, pretty difficult to uh, get good income from that at the moment anyways that's gonna make it for this video thank you very much for watching and as always i'll see you next time